Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I have been on the hunt for Adidas Zambas. I found these on TikTok. They look like them, but they're not. They're $75. I don't know if I should get these instead or continue waiting for the legit ones. I put on my Instagram story if I should just get these. Y'all were like 50-50 about it. I decided not to take them home. Comment down below what y'all think I should do. So for now, I'm just waiting for the legit ones to be back in stock. Now we're moving on to Texas Thrift. I found this simple black early 2000s midi dress. It had a cute ruffle trim on it. In the lingerie section, the only thing I found was this cami top. The split front was a cute touch. In the men's section today, I found this Ralph Lauren striped sweater. It is a quarter zip and super cute for the fall time. Now we're back in the women's section and I found the cutest Rue 21 sweaters. We have this one in pink. I loved this shrug look to it that was really trendy last year. And I just think it looks so cute. I found literally the exact one, but in gray. I have been seeing a lot of this boxer style look and I feel like I can definitely thrift shorts like this and I found these ones and I think the color of these is perfect for the fall. I also found these polka dot flowy ones but I did not take those. I did not find much here but it was still a cute trip. Moving on to family thrift, I found this gorgeous 90s floral maxi skirt and it had a front slit. It was giving me 90s grunge. In the lingerie section, all I found was this lace halter top. It still had the tags. I did not take it. In the dresses, I found this gorgeous buyer 2 maxi dress, more on the formal side. I saw this listed on Depop for $250. I'm not going to price it that high, but it's a sleigh. Now we're moving on to the sweater aisle and we have another Ralph Lauren find. It was giving Jerf Avenue Matilda Jerf vibes. I forgot to take clips of the rest of the stuff I found. They are on my Depop if you want to check them out. Let's finally go get our nails done. I am late, rushing. I want to do a burgundy red color for the fall time and yeah, it's just a pretty color. Gonna get that. It's been like a month since I've done dip. My nails are is this zoomed? No. My nails are ready for dip again. So let's go get it done. The nails are done. They are cute. I asked for square this time. I don't know. Something was telling me to get square. So I just got them short, square, cute. I did not have coffee this morning, so my headache is starting to creep in. I'm gonna go home, make coffee. I have box dye just sitting in my restroom. I have not pulled the trigger because a part of me is scared that the color I chose is not gonna look good. So that I should just get done. And just fingers crossed about that. Also, I went to Texas Thrift, was it yesterday, the day before yesterday, and there happened to be a storm that I do not know about. It's not even a storm. It was just a lot of rain, and where I live, we cannot handle a lot of rain. I am here editing. Let me give you more in depth of what happened at the thrift store when I was just trying to be productive. Mother Nature was like, no, not happening today. When I got there, it had just started raining and I was like, okay, a little rain, not thinking much about it. I found the most gorgeous red Victoria's Secret slip. Then before you know it, the rain is getting really loud. I definitely do not want to drive in the rain. So I was like, okay, I'll just spend most of my time here until the rain stops. Going down the next aisle and the lights are flickering. I'm like, okay, now it's getting scary. I'm getting kind of scared. And then it comes on and off, you know, not thinking much of it. And then it goes out completely. Great. Pitch dark. Can't see anything. All the workers told everyone to go to the front and I'm there waiting. And then they're like, the lights are not going to come on anytime soon so that they were going to close. 
an employee was telling me, oh, you can just leave your stuff here, put your name on the bag with your phone number, and we'll call you. They did not call me. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm not gonna leave though because I'm not gonna drive in this rain. I, my car is super low to the ground. Then I told her, I'm like, I think I'm gonna wait till the rain like calms down a bit because I don't feel safe driving in the rain. Better be safe than sorry. Then she was telling me that the roads are completely flooded. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean flooded? There's already cars like stuck. It's like flooded. And I'm like, oh, so then I'm like, okay, then I need to call someone to pick me up. So then I call my boyfriend and I'm like, I'm not going to take the car out. Like I know it's going to get stuck. No way. Um, so you're gonna have to pick me up and we'll just pick up the car later today or tomorrow where I live It floods so fast. I feel like it didn't even rain that long and it was completely flooded The rain was already coming up to like the store Um, my boyfriend called me and he's like, yeah There's like so much traffic cars are stuck. He's like i'm in the back of the thrift store Which the main road is in the back of the thrift store not the front. I don't know it's weird, but So I was like, okay, i'll just walk to the back here I am walking, I'm thinking, oh, it'll be no big deal. Yeah, I'll just get a little wet. I'll get wet a little bit, whatever. I was wearing my white sneakers. I did not realize how deep the water was or how high the flood was. I'm not kidding you, y'all. The water was up to here. And yeah, that was my flooding, almost got trapped at the thrift store story. So... I am thinking about going today and either I'm gonna have to pick out my stuff again if it's still there or hopefully they still have it in the front. I really have no idea. I'm gonna find out because I did find a really good jacket and a Victoria's Secret slip dress that I love. So I think I'm gonna go back there today. But for now, let's just go home and make a coffee. Okay, we are here to try and find our finds again because they never called me and they did put my stuff back. I did find a lot of jackets, so here are the ones that caught my eye. We have this suede one. I feel like this would have been such a sleigh if it was like leather leather. I honestly feel like suede takes longer to sell on Depop, so I was iffy about this one. I have been seeing that darker denim is like in right now, and I really loved like the thick belt tie thing. I don't know how to explain this jacket. The stitching was really unique and very luxe feeling and it had a clasp if you wanted to use it. This leather jacket is the one I found last time and I was happy that I found it again. Blue leather zip up jacket with brown trim, slay. This leather jacket style is very popular right now. I was iffy about this because it was very stiff and then I realized that it is a kid's jacket. So we're saying bye to this. And y'all, I could not find that Victoria's Secret red slip dress. I was so sad about it. Moving on to dresses, I found this really pretty black Banana Republic midi dress. Midi maxi dress. It had a very pretty dainty lace trim on it. Very simple and cute. Texas Thrift is a good place for shoes. I found these vintage bongo heels. The only flaw were these tiny scrapes, but they won't be seen when you're wearing them. I have found these Steve Madden slides before here, but in black in perfect condition. These ones were pink and not in good condition, so we're not taking these. In the skirt section, I found this black paisley midi skirt. We are back in the dresses and I found this cotton flower print maxi dress. I really love the flower print on this, but the quality was super cheap, so I am passing. Moving on to sweaters, I found this vintage striped knit sweater. Striped knit sweaters are very popular. I also found this cream button up cardigan by Express. I manifested this sweater because these slouchy off the shoulder sweaters have been all over my Pinterest. And I was so happy I found one. It is by Poof New York. Then we have another striped sweater. This one is a ribbed turtleneck. 
This knit sweater, I really wish that the sleeves were flared on the end. That would have been the cutest touch, but it's still a cute find. I'm taking this. Oversized cable knit vintage sweaters can look so cute when you style them right. And this one was such high quality and it had like dainty fall colors in it. And this is everything that I ended up taking. That is it for this thrift trip and that's it for the week. It is time to finally dye my hair. I honestly don't have the money to get it professionally done. I had been debating to go copper brown, but more a brunette. But I found this color. Um, I think this is a safe shade for me because it looks brunette, but it has a reddish tint to it. And if this ends up looking bad, we're just gonna go to our natural dark brunette. This is my natural color already on top. Um, but the deal is, let me take this out for y'all. I dyed it like a medium brown. And as you can see, like the bottom is super light compared to my roots. Maybe it is like an ombre moment, but I'm kind of over it. I should probably get my cat out of here. This smell is probably not safe. Let's see what we're gonna do here. Now, I've seen people that they put Vaseline around like their skin so that it doesn't stain. I might do that. Yeah, I have been in my not slay era. So it's time for a fall glow up. I'm starting to feel, what is the word? Bored and tired of just putting drifting content all the time, honestly. To a point to where I want to start putting makeup videos. I, I've i always been into watching makeup videos and fashion styling outfit videos. I'm like, you know what? Why don't I do that too? For the fun of it, you know? So if my hair is a sleigh, that would definitely give me a confident boost. My cat is obsessed with me. I should really get her out. So I think I'm going to get her out. Ma'am, you can't be in here. I know you're so excited for the glow up, but you got to go. Okay, all of so much, you gotta go back. Should I dye my eyebrows too? I'm low-key scared. Wait, why am I making these butts? We need a change, we do need a change, let's just do it. Oh f there's no going back now. Oh no, that smell. Oh no, I need to turn this on. I'm gonna clean off. Wow, the Vaseline actually helps a lot. 20 minutes. Okay, tell me why my hair looks darker than it was. 